is the water coming out of your faucet okay to drink? The answer should be yes, but with aging infrastructure and chemical spills, it has some people questioning if it's safe. First, it was a chemical spill in Wixom, forcing people to avoid swimming, fishing, or drinking water from the Huron River. Less than two weeks later, a water main break in Port Huron put nearly a million Metro Detroiters under a boil water advisory. It's since been lifted, and it should be safe to sip what's running from your tap. I don't trust the drinking water. But Annie Lawrence has her doubts. How can we trust the system? How can we? For peace of mind, she's sticking to bottled water. But experts say there are ways to ensure what's flowing from your faucet is safe. There's some really good technologies out there. Alan Burton, a professor at the School of Environment and Sustainability at the University of Michigan, says under the sink reverse osmosis or RO water filters can help strip toxic pathogens, chemicals and PFAS. But installing one isn't cheap probably be close to $500 for the first year. Some people assume a more affordable option would be Brita filters, but Burton says those pitchers are designed to improve taste, not remove toxins. It's really a, a four-step process. Gerald Tiernan with the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services says the state recommends people first identify their water source, get their water tested or look up water sampling reports, buy filters that address areas of concern, and lastly, replace filters accordingly. But ultimately, David Slang, a professor at Oakland University, says the state is vigilant in keeping water safe. They've always been vigilant, but I think they are especially vigilant um, now. The state says there are resources available for people who would like a filter but can't afford one. So to get the number to call, head to our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.